Hello guys, this is Dapson HML. So if you've gone ahead to upgrade to version 15 of WYSIWYG Web Builder and probably haven't had time to explore almost every new feature in there yet, you are likely to wonder how to go about to add preloaders which is part of the new features to your website project. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to go about to achieve that or go about adding preloaders to our website project. So to go about to find where the preloader is, all you have to do is to right click on an empty space on your canvas, go to page properties and then come to the miscellaneous section. Now when you come to the very bottom, you realize we have preloader in here. So once you click on the drop down arrow in here, you get to specify any of the preloaders you want to use as part of your project. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead to maybe select this one and then I can see a uh, sample of it or a view of it how it's going to look if i don't like that i can select something different and then and so on now once i'm done i can even specify the color of the background if i want to change that once i'm done i'll go ahead and then click on ok and then if i preview this page i should be able to see it if i don't see it, it means i don't have because i don't have any content on the page but before then let me just try this in chrome and see how that is going to be so i have chrome um Loaded, it's not showing anything as well because just like I was saying, we don't have any content in here. So let me just go ahead and then come to the two box. Let me get the image to let me click on this and then, or let me just go ahead and then populate this with a couple of blocks in here. So let me just, I'm just going to drag this a lot of them here. So I keep dragging. And then I have this as well as, um, let me just add this and let me go ahead and then preview this in the browser. So I didn't have that showing. Let me try this in Chrome and see if it's going to show. So I think, I don't know, it was very fast because we actually loading this on our local system. Let's just take a look at it again. I think, um, this time around it didn't. Let me just come back and paste and then go. It was fast. You couldn't see it this time around, but basically that's how you go about adding preloaders to your project. You might be wondering if it is possible for you to add or specify your own preloaders as part of WYSIWYG Web Builder. Well, the good news is yes, you can go ahead to do that. All you have to do is to download a GIF file or an SVG file, which is bearing the preloader you want, and then you add it to the folder, which contains the preloader. So let's take a look at how to go about this. So let's just assume you have your preloaders downloaded and you want to add it to the set of preloaders in here. Where do you go to do that? All you have to do is to come to the folder which is containing your WYSIWYG Web Builder um, project files. Under normal circumstances, it should be in the document. You should have a folder called um, WYSIWYG Web Builder. And then when you come to system, you should have a folder called preloaders. So this is where you keep all your preloaders. Now I have changed the default location of my preloader so i'm going to go ahead to go to my location where i have my preloader so i'm going to open this and then when i come to systems and then i open preloaders realize these are the preloaders i have i think these ones are all jeff files so these are jeff files you can go ahead to download jeff files and then once you copy them here you should be able to use them so let me just go ahead and then try a sample so let me just come to chrome and then see if i can download a sample jeff file so preloaders website preloaders jeff free download so i have the site so let me just go ahead and then open it up and uh, let me just select so let's just say this is the preload i want to use i'm okay with the settings for it then i'm going to go ahead to download this so i'm going to download this i think this is going to be a jeff file so once i have this downloaded I'll go ahead and then, um, let me just change the name for this. So this is star, star preloader. And then I'm going to copy this to the location of my preloader. So let me open that up and then I'm going to paste that in here. So I'm going to close. Let me see if I can locate it now. So I can locate it. As of now, do I have star? I don't have that here, so I have to close the entire application. Let me just uh, not save this and then let me open it again. So 
so i have it open let me come to my page properties and then come to miscellaneous and then let me see if i can find so i have my star preloader in here just like um as you can see it here and then once i have it done i'm added to my project and if i have a couple of objects on my page and then i preview it i should see it because this is being loaded from the system or my current uh, my local system it, you realize it was very fast in here so that's how to go about using preloaders as well as to be able to specify or add your own preloaders to wizard builder version 15. thank you very much for watching bye for now